Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Let's continue on with the fall candle reviews. And up next, we have the Kringle Country Candle in the scent Autumn Reflections. This is a new fragrance from Kringle for fall 2022. I purchased this when the ambassadors were allowed to pre-purchase the new um, scents for the season. They are, uh, Kringle is nice enough to offer us the opportunity to do that so that we can review them before, um, before they become available and sort of, I guess, help people make a decision on what they want to pick up. So, um, this one I kind of had waiting for the like end of the reviews. Um, I tried to kind of go through what I thought would be some of my favorites first. And it's kind of funny because when I first smelled this one, I thought it smelled kind of familiar and I really liked it, but I kind of like stuck it with the like towards the end of the candle reviews. Um, and I, it should have been near the front because I actually really, really enjoy this particular scent. Um, it actually reminds me of a Homeworks fragrance that I really liked last year. So um, I'll tell you what that fragrance is here once we get done talking about the fragrance description of this particular one. And then we'll talk strength throw, burn quality, all of that fun jazz. So... Um, I do want to make just a small note. When you look up this candle on the website, I will of course put a link down below uh, in the description box. I will also put my Kringle discount code if you're interested in picking this up. You can save yourself a little extra money. Um, but online, this the wax looks like it's a really bright orange. But as you can see from my video here, my wax is brown. So. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if there were some variations in the different batches, um, but my wax is very much brown, so I'm, I'm not sure what you're going to be receiving. I have only placed um, an order for this one, and I'm not sure that I will pick up another one this season, but I did want to give you a heads up that if you think you're getting an orange candle, don't be surprised if, if it comes to you and it's brown. <laughs> I'm not sure why that inconsistency is there, but it, I did just notice it, so thought I'd mention it. Um, okay, let's do the scent description, you guys. So the, uh, the scent description for Autumn Reflections is, a perfect blend of the comforts of autumn, rich nutty aromas of pumpkin puree infused with clove and cinnamon lend an earthy warm feel to this fall candle. So your top notes here are clove and cinnamon, the mid notes are acorn, pumpkin and caramel, and your base is vanilla and milk. This one's kind of interesting because it definitely has a number of very gourmand notes but this doesn't smell like a foodie candle to me at all. Um, I really do think it has a lot of earthiness to it. When I saw that word in the description, I was like, yes, there's, it just smells like warm earthiness, <laughs> which like, what is that? Like, it's so hard to explain because to me, like that earthiness comes across as like what you smell when you go outside in the fall and you kind of like you can smell a mix of like dirt and rain and th there's just there's a very specific like fragrance vibe to the outdoors in the fall right and i really do kind of pick that up in this candle like th the acorns i think really help to lend to that earthiness but also, and I did see one other person mention this in the reviews on about this candle on the website. Someone mentioned chestnuts. And honestly, I thought that too. When I smell this, I smell a mix of maybe like 60% acorn, which is like a nice earthy nutty note. Um... And then the other 40%, I swear, is chestnut. It's not in the fragrance description at all, and maybe it's just how the notes blend together that lend it to come off as chestnut. But, like, I mean, while there is pumpkin in here, like, I really don't get much pumpkin. I feel like maybe the pumpkin is coming off as chestnut to me. I'm, 
I don't know. I would love your guys' take on this if you pick this up either in this full size or even in the wax melts or the daylights. Um, let me know your thoughts. I do get caramel from this. It is oddly sweet and the sweetness most definitely comes from that caramel. Um, it is not the, it's not a cloying caramel. It's like, it's, I would say maybe like 50% less sweetness of most typical caramel scents, but it definitely has sweetness to it and it blends really nicely with the earthiness in this candle. Um, the clove and the cinnamon, I think, are done quite well. They're not, it's not smack you in the face cinnamon. It's, it's not that red hot cinnamon. I tend to not purchase candles that have any of that like spicy or cinnamon in them because it just, I just don't like it. I like cinnamon a lot, but I need it in moderation and I need it to smell more like, like an actual cinnamon stick or like freshly ground Ceylon cinnamon and not Mike and Ike cinnamon. I just think that that's that super spicy cinnamon. It, I just don't find that enjoyable at all. It kind of stings my nose a little bit. And the clove is done really well also in here. It's not super heavy. It doesn't overtake the rest of the fragrance at all. It's, it's moderately added and it works quite well. In terms of vanilla and milk, I guess you could say there is like a, a, a creaminess to this, but it's, but I wouldn't call this a creamy scent. Like it just kind of helps to like blend everything together. I feel like, um, but really predominantly what you're getting here is that kind of like nutty acorn note and I swear some chestnut. <laughs> You're getting that caramel, which kind of sweetens everything up. You're getting those two classic fall spices of cinnamon and clove, and then a, a, like a general creaminess that kind of wraps it all up together. This is a great scent, you guys. It's really enjoyable, and you know what it reminds me of? And I pulled up the fragrance notes too. Um, it reminds me of the Spiced Acorn from Homeworks that came out, I, I think it was last year, um, or was it the year before? I, I can't even remember at this point, but so the notes for that were spiced, uh, sorry, a blend of fallen acorn, nutmeg, gala apple, and warm date. Um, yeah, it's it, the, the acorn note is, vi oops, sorry, that was Penny. She just, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Did you not see that tripod there? Oh goodness. <laughs> oh, you're going to have a little lump on your head. Oh. Well, it'll join the others. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the acorn note between these two scents are incredibly similar. And I think if you really liked the spiced acorn from Homeworks, like I'm just kind of trying to give people a reference point. Um, if you liked that one, I think you're actually really gonna enjoy this one. At first I wasn't super into the spiced acorn, but once I started burning it, I was like, yeah, this is actually quite nice. It's enjoyable. It's something that I would burn in moderation, as in like I would probably get one for the season and that would be plenty for me. It's not something that I would personally stock up on, but if you like those nutty scents, I think this is something that is worth looking into for sure. In terms of strength and throw, um, this is doing a little bit better again than previous country candles have done for me. Um, the strength of this one, I would put at probably about a six and a half. It's not quite a seven. And the throw is also right around like a six, six and a half. But that's a little bit better than what I normally get from country candles. Um, I feel like the fall scents this year have just performed a little bit stronger. The overall quality of the burn is fantastic. And this is for paraffin wax, you guys. If you're not aware, I, I don't like paraffin wax. It just burns way too long. I don't, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't love it. It's, it's a little bit more messy if you're not careful with it. I have been keeping my wicks rather short and these country candles are two wicks if you're not familiar. This, for example, has been lit for only the last hour, and you can see a really nice wax pool forming already. Um, the wax pool gets quite deep, so this is how deep it gets once the candle has been burning for about three, four hours. 
Um, I think that that really helps with the strength and the throw, honestly. Um, that being said, uh, I, I still prefer the soy wax over, over anything else. I trim the wicks. I wipe the wicks with a paper towel before lighting them to get that carbon residue off. And that's what I think gives me this really clean burn. I just want to show you guys kind of the finger test here that I used to do quite a bit with these. Oh, it's getting quite warm. Um, there's no soot, like there, there's no discoloration on my finger really. Um, there's just like the slightest amount, but I think, you know, anytime you're burning a candle, you're probably going to have some kind of like residue that floats around. But yeah, for the most part, this has had a pretty nice clean burn. The label's cute. The fragrance itself is really enjoyable. Is it a one and done for me? Yeah, but you know, um, so was the spice acorn, uh, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, if you have this one, will you let us know your thoughts in the comments down below? If you're interested in picking it up, it is available in the large jar. It's available in the medium. It's available in the wax melts as well as the daylights. If you're unsure about this fragrance, definitely get going with the daylights first. Um, there's nothing worse than buying a giant paraffin candle and then figuring out like the fragrance really isn't for me. So anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.